Welcome to RCGTSA. By looking at the title, you already know what it's all about. There's no good way to say, uh, I crashed my jet. I literally do not call it a crash. It's kind of belly landing. But I'll explain and show you a clip what led to that belly landing situation. Let's look at the video first. It cut the it cut the throttle all of a sudden. It cut the throttle all of a sudden. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. I didn't like it. The one and thing to go wrong. Uh, let me see the voltage. Should be 49 soon, it's not bad actually. Yeah, 50 watt. I didn't feel it. Good luck. Thanks. Now that you have seen the first part of the video, as you can see, uh, I recognized there was an issue of um, powering off while I was taking off. And I did my due diligence by checking all the cables and you saw me pulling out stuff and checking the voltage, the battery was charged um, up to uh, 49.7 volt and it is actually um, recommended uh, voltage uh, up to 50 so which is okay um, but I really don't know any other way to explain what went wrong so let me show you my second attempt and what happened and how I dealt with it once I had the power loss while I'm flying. Let's look at the second video, then I explain. <laughs> Stabilization mode. Oh. 
No, Pava. Could see as soon as I detected there's a power loss, I did not even attempt to turn back and come to the runway. The main reason for that is that I want to protect my landing gear. Because, and also, if I try to turn, and that itself uh, will cause for me to lose altitude and it might stall to a side and crash. So, my only chance is to either land it on a tree or go as smooth as possible and do a belly landing, which is what I did eventually because I was thinking about it uh, whether to land on a tree, but I knew that if I did, it might break my main wings. Now, as you can see, my main wings are not damaged at all. There's a scrape there and also my missile, that side missile broke from the tail where I already glued it and that's about it. But if I did the other way, it would have been worse. And uh, let me show you a close-up that you see everything from tail to uh, nose, what has happened. And these particular things, actually when I glue, I'm not sure whether you guys can remember, I mentioned that glue it lightly. Uh, that helped me in this situation because as soon as anything touches these two, it fly away other than the wind. So I glued it again, but as you can see, it's not damaged, it's just scrap and it went, as soon as it hit the ground, it removed easily so that it did not hit the nose heavily because if I had those two strongly glued, it will hit first and then nose will come smashing down to the ground and this will break. But it didn't happen as soon as it hit these two, it flipped and it went and then it slightly went over. So as you can see in my video, it's slightly scraped. I did not have to replace anything basically, but I had to do a painting and a bit of plastering. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do before I do the next flight. recognize what went wrong. So I checked all the cables. I know ESC was not heated because I flew this, now this is the ninth time. And uh, before that I flew twice on the same day. And every time I have at least 30 minute gaps, I fly in another jet and give it a rest. So it's, it's the same thing. So ESC had more than 30 minutes to cool down. So I do not believe that is the cause. Uh, so I had a power cable that very soft, it's not loose, but one of my friend told me, he's an expert on electronics, and he told me when there's a heavy amperage, and even if it is slightly connected, uh, it might break the connection. So that is my only doubt um, that can cause this issue. Um, other than that, there's nothing. So, because of that, um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any repairs here. So, because as you can see, jet is intact other than these scrapes. I can fly as is. So, if it happens again, so I had to replace the body. If that happens, I'm not going to deploy the landing gear because that will definitely don't uh, have enough time to lock the gear and it will break. So that's my only concern. So if that happened again, uh, so I had to replace the body, but I at least my other parts, the electronics parts are intact. So I can save some money there. But as of now, I really do not know what went wrong. So for you guys, just what I can tell you is if that happened, how to recover without doing crazy things and 
try to minimize the damage. You cannot avoid the damage, it's going to do something, but don't panic and do exactly what I did. And don't try to turn back and come to the runway at this point, depending on the weight of the jet, you know that you can't do that. So that's my, uh, you know, kind of advice to everybody going through this experience of having this issue. So that's all about this incident. So I going to try again uh, the same way what I do normally. So if you like my videos, if this has helped you in any way, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to show you how I fly this one as is with a couple of videos in the future. So wait for them. And uh, maybe after one year, I replace the whole body and make it brand new. Bye for now. Talk to you soon.